under capital budgeting the two things we are going to discuss today one will be payback period in this they have given before depreciation and taxation means we have to go from the beginning once you got your profit whatever depreciation you have already deducted add back once you done with payback period will go with your computation of arr Hello everyone. This is your Adar Sir here, lecturer in Vidya Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session four, topic five of financial management. That is nothing but your capital budgeting. And in today's session, what we are going to discuss. And in today's session, we are going to discuss about your capital. Budgeting. Now, under capital budgeting, the two things we are going to discuss today. One will be payback period. Another one will be ARR, accounting rate of return. Two things we are going to discuss. There are two things, sir. One will be payback period. Another one will be accounting rate of return. So we'll go with the agenda, the concept, meaning, and we'll go for a problem. So the project will cost you rupees six lakh. Will have a life of six years. No salvage value. The company's tax rate is thirty percent. Under straight line method of depreciation, the estimated income before depreciation and from all they see in this they have given before depreciation and taxation means we have to go from the beginning. What is the beginning? Remember your whatever income is there in this you have to minus depreciation minus taxation. Then add back depreciation. Hope you are clear. Now, so how much we have? One lakh, one lakh twenty thousand, one lakh forty, one fifty, one sixty, and we have one lakh seventy thousand. Compute the following payback period and average rate of return. So, what is the rate of return percentage they have given? It is twelve percent. Now we are in the second slide. In this. We have to calculate your total net cash flow. How to calculate your total net cash flow? In this, we have year one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have your cash before depreciation. It is already given. See, one lakh, one lakh twenty, one forty, one fifty, one sixty, and we have one lakh seventy thousand. Now. We have taken everything, and depreciation it is around twenty percent. We don't go with twenty percent. In this, what happens? What is the value? The value is six lakh. Number of years what? Number of years we goes with six years. Divide by six, it will be one lakh. The percentage is not required. Now, so we go with what? One lakh for all. Now. One lakh minus one lakh, it will be nil. One twenty minus one lakh twenty thousand, and forty, fifty, sixty, and seventy. After deducting this thing, now we have to calculate thirty percent tax. On zero, it will be zero. Twenty thousand, it will be how much? Two four six six thousand. Like that, you are supposed to calculate. Your depreciation. Once you done with your depreciation, twenty thousand minus six, fourteen. Forty minus twelve, twenty-eight. Similarly, minus you will get profit after tax. Once you got your profit, whatever depreciation you have already deducted, add back. Added all your depreciation, you got. Nil plus one lakh, one lakh, one lakh fourteen, one twenty-eight, one thirty-five, one forty-two, and one lakh forty-nine thousand. Clear? Hope you are clear. This is all about net cash flow we calculated. Now, once you're done with your net cash flow, we'll go with your cumulative cash flow. See, you got one lakh, one lakh fourteen, one twenty-eight, one thirty-eight, one forty-two, one forty-nine. We'll go for that. One lakh one fourteen one twenty eight one thirty five one forty two one forty nine. Add back cumulative one lakh plus one fourteen two fourteen plus one twenty eight three forty two plus one thirty five 
477 plus 142, 619 plus 149, it will be 768. What is your total profit? 768. Now, so what is your investment? Your investment is 6 lakh. When do you get your 6 lakh? First year, no. Second, no. Third year, no. Fourth, no. In between fourth and fifth year, you will get back your amount. Now, you have 4 lakh 77. Still, how much you need? You need 6 lakh. Still, you need 1 lakh 23,000 needed. What is the difference between 477 and 619? 477,000 and 619,000. You will get around 133, 142 something you will get. We'll check this. Yes, you need 123 and the difference is 142. If you divide, you will get 0 0.83, four years and 0 0.83, you got 4.86 years. Hope you are clear. Yes, we got 4.86 years. So these are your calculation of payback period. Now, once you're done with payback period, we'll go with your computation of ARR. What is your ARR in this? Your ARR is like your 128,000. How come you got your formula is Average profit divided by average investment into 100. Normally, we go with your discounted factor. Here, we are not going with discounted factor. We are going directly. Now, how come you got average profit 128? What is your total profit? Total profit is 7,68,000. See, this one, 7,68,000 divided by number of years, 6, you will get 1,28,000. Hope you are clear? Yes. Now, so what is your average investment? Your investment is what? 6 lakh. Average means what? Divided by 2, it will be 3 lakh. So take 3 lakh, 1 lakh 28,000 into 100 divided by 3 lakh. You got your final answer 42.66, 42.66 percentage. The expected rate of return is 12 percent and ARR is 42.66 percent. The ARR is more than, more than the expected rate of return. Therefore, the project is accepted. Why it is accepted means it is not rejected, it is accepted. Why? Because your ARR is more than whatever your annual rate of return. That's why we have to accept this project. Now, I'll go back to all the slides. Please take screenshot. So this is your problem, your solution, your solution part, payback period. Your payback period is 4.86. Your annual rate of return. Normally we should go with discounted value, but here we have gone directly. This is all about your today's session. Please work out at home. Thank you.